was Sandy Lake. We're in that uh, channel now. Heading into, uh, I can't remember uh, what the name of the next lake is, but uh, I think it's Spectacle Lake or something. I'll turn you back on when I get to the intersection where you can go left into um, Una Lake, it's called. Bye for now. Well, I can't get the camera out because uh, all the water's freezing on me. But, uh, so, if you keep going this way, you get to uh, Una Lake. We're not going to do that. I don't have time. But here is Babcock Creek, and that takes me into Spectacle Lake. If you look down here, you can see uh, moose and uh, deer and all sorts of tracks in the, the water. Look at that. Yeah. Now my tracks are here with them. Here's some old ones. There's some fresh ones too. So there's one in the area. Here's their poopy. They must like this little spot. Yeah, here's some. Yeah. Wow, they're everywhere. Anyway. Yeah, so Babcock Creek. Bye for now. Mountains. One last look. Yeah. So we are now in Babcock Creek. To the right there, that's where you go to Una Lake. So I guess I'll paddle with you a little bit. I'm gonna have to change the SD card and uh, but this camera soon. Wow, look at the cabin over here. Nice. Man, this must be a nice gig if you can get it. Working here during the tourist season. Man, I told you. One great thing about this boat, she rides so high in the water that uh, it, it'll go in better places than a canoe will, especially with the way some of the canoes are loaded down for here. Man, they got that cabin fitted out. Everything. Everything is beautiful when you're in a boat. Okay, let's go up and see if I can get in a big old fight with these Canada geese. They are very freaking contrary at the best of times. I won't intentionally pick a fight with a Canada goose and I'll actively try to avoid it, but they're in my way. They literally are probably the most dangerous thing out here. They think they own the place. How many times have you seen a bear eat a Canada goose? Yeah, not many. I bet I bet people have seen Canada geese eat uh, bears though.
Wow. Babcock Creek. That's nice. So, what I'm gonna do for this portage, I'm gonna carry the boat like that. I'm gonna leave all that stuff there. Leave the boat on top of this thing over there and come back here as quick as I can, pick this up and get back to the boat. <clears throat> and I'm gonna change the SD card in this because it's gotta be running low. Well, Babcock Lake done. There it is in all its glory. Yeah. Well, that was a tough one. That was probably the toughest uh, paddle yet. Uh, when I came out around the little leg uh, land down there, it was headwind, uh, white caps, and I had to crab my way across the, and I mean, they were a couple of feet high, these waves. Um, I had to crab my way across, you know, riding the waves and that, till I got to the shadow of the land over on that side. And then it was more tolerable. So I came up the inside there, the left side, and then I came around that point and got hit with the wind again. And it was just a little after that point, it started to calm down. And um, I think there's a wind shift going on now. So I'm hoping that by the time I get to the next big lake, that the wind is screaming that way, because then I'll just make uh, really great time. I'm getting a lot of wind burn and stuff. Uh, I've been putting the chapstick on, been putting it on my nose too. Um, right here, my nose has been running and it's just raw now. But um, this is, it's coming to a close. I mean, I still got a ways to go, but wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at those mountains down there. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, when I pulled up uh, right here, so I, as soon as my boat touched and made the gravel, touched the gravel and did that sliding thing, something, I think it was a moose, I didn't see it, I just heard it get up and gallop through there somewhere. So there was something in resting and I spooked it, but I guarantee you it spooked me more than I spooked it. Uh, so anyway, this is the portage. I think this might be the last portage. I don't even know how uh, long this one is, but uh, it can't be as long as any of the other ones. So that's a good thing. Yeah, wow, what a great day. What a great day. This is just awesome. Been an epic trip. Uh, I'm talking as if it's over. It's not over yet. I mean, I still got two big lakes to go, um, but I can feel it. Yeah. Oh, I um, I use the gauntlet gloves. Um, yeah, these things work like a charm so far. Anyway, enough of me yammering on. I'll pick it up on the other side. Bye for now. He's not letting me past. I've been waiting this guy out. He's occupying this trail. I don't know what to do. His bedding area was just right there. So I've interrupted him. The only problem is that's the only way I can go. What do you do? I don't want to get stomped by a moose. Let me clean the screen here. <clears throat> he seems calm enough. <sighs> it's never the animals you expect. Like I say, bears, yeah. I have thoughts about bears, but uh, Canada geese scare me more than anything. Next to that, probably moose.
bastard, he won't get out of the trail. I got a bear banger loaded just in case, but that'll just piss him off more. I don't know. This is his area. Bastard. I'm gonna have to go for it. I am. Anyway. Okay. Uh, that was wild. I uh, loaded up my stuff and uh, walked up the trail. He, uh, whew, he turned to me and uh, took a step forward. We got within about 13 feet of each other and uh, then he turned side on and I just put my head down and kept walking. And then he walked, he turned around and walked the opposite way, going back to his bedding area. So, uh, yeah, wow. Man, of all the places to meet him, the last portage, Jesus. Anyway. Good. Yeah, he, uh, that was his area. He was not leaving. Oh, okay. Now, uh, Jeez, I don't even know where I am. That was, uh, I got the heart going there for a minute. Make sure he's not coming up. It's a good sign, though, that uh, he's there. Uh, no bears. <laughs> anyway, I want to mess with my camera. Bastard. No, nope, that's what I scared. When I came in in the boat, I heard a gallop somewhere, and he only went about 10 feet, and uh, he, he was eating the leaves and stuff. Okay. Huh. I think that was the easiest portage yet for carrying. Didn't even realize the weight. Yeah, okay. Catch you when I'm uh, in the boat going. Bye. Never even looked at the map to see what, uh, what the hell I'm going through now. Still jacked about that moose encounter, little bastard. I get it, it's his area, but holy Jesus, he was just a stubborn cuss. No. You go around me, <laughs> little bastard. I tell you though, it'd be great if you could put a saddle on those things. Be the best ATV machine going. Eat anything. Take you anywhere. We should try and domesticate them. Start with that one. Another portage. What's gonna be over here? A bear? No, it won't be a bear, that's too obvious. It'll be something bizarre, like a pissed off porcupine or something.
He'll needle me along. Ah ha ha, I made a funny. You're not going to believe this. <clears throat> no f***ing moose. The portage is right there, so I'm, I'm going to give him a wide berth. Oh, Jesus, there's a cow. Ah, oh, lordy. Yeah. And a calf. Great. Can you see him? Right there. Okay, you leave me alone, and I'll leave you alone. Okay, let's get out of this. So, uh, <clears throat> the cow, she kept, uh, her gaze on me and the calf was just doing what calves do. Anyway, what do I hear then but a bull rack his antlers somewhere. I don't know where he is, but he's over there somewhere. Jesus, wall to wall moose. I can't feed a moose. Anyway past them and for the love of God I think this has to be the last portage yeah okay for now I'll uh, turn the camera off okay we're at camp 44 I gotta head up there wow Yeah, what time is it? Yeah, it's quarter to four. Yeah, I gotta do it. I just gotta keep making time. Okay, catch me later. Guys, you're gonna see how I try and get off this shore. frozen okay sorry about that no. fuck white caps and everything so let's go this way and stick close to shore Hey. 
headwind. If it gets too much, I'll just turn and ride back to this uh, campsite. should calm down at some point. to the next campsite. And I tell you, I'm a machine. Yeah, Robin, thanks for reminding me about these gauntlet gloves. These, uh, are probably the lifesaver of the trip now. My hands are dry, they're warm. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be even doing this. So if I die, it's your fault. Just kidding. Should I even attempt to show you the mountains? Now what the hell I'm gonna do it? Look at the mountains! Take it in all its glory. Oh look at that back there. Wow. Okay. That was as foolhardy as I wanted to be. Shovel coal all day, and what do you get? Another day over in deeper debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. A man's just made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood, skin and bone. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. There's an eagle flying high, and I can't go up the middle, so I gotta take the long way. Wow, this is a battle, I tell you. And burn. Yeah, that was fun with the moose. Yeah, it's hard for me to Keep talking while I'm having the will to live slowly sucked out of me by Mother Nature and her contrary friggin' wind. I've been through stuff like this before. I don't quit. I don't know the word. Oh good, we're in the shadow now, I think, of uh, this land. It's my land, it is not your land. I got a shotgun and you don't got one. I'll blow your head off if you don't get off. This land is my property. Oh. I'll show you 
that. What the hell? A little cove or something. Mountains again. Oh shit. Big pointy stick. Not conducive to maintaining tubal pressure. Yeah, it's funny, um, when the pain starts setting in with me on anything I do physical, it's like I reach a point where I'm struggling to get up to it, and then all of a sudden, whammo, I kind of feed off the muscle soreness, the pain, the aching, the straining, and I just seem to settle into a rhythm where I can't stop. And then the hard thing for me, is stopping because I'm afraid to stop because I don't want to have to start the chain reaction again. And I'm in that mode now, I don't want to stop. It's weird. Yeah, that's more like it. Calm the hell down. Be nice. Man, these are impressive little boats. Yeah, it all started back in 2010 for me. Uh, just going through the boat show and coming across uh, Feathercraft, uh, Vancouver-based company. And I needed a, a little dinghy for uh, my little sailboat. Something that could go under the sole or something and if I needed it, I could use it. And uh, so they had those Feathercraft Baileys there. So I decided to get the heavy duty one because uh, may as well go bomb proof. And uh, I put it in the boat, never really thought much of it. And then I wanted to go fishing one day. So I just threw the boat in the backpack, went fishing and realized, Jesus, where's this been my whole life? And uh, so then I just started doing everything in the Bailey. And, uh, the reason I liked the Bailey was because it was a rowing rig, and uh, that's what I grew up with, like I've said before many times. Anyway, so I've always looked at these alpacas, and the weight savings on the alpacas just amazed me. I mean, they have boats that weigh four pounds. I mean, four pounds? That uh, Bushcraft uh, bush box stove, that weighs two pounds, and they got a boat that almost weighs that? That's amazing. Anyway. I, I kept shying away from them because of this kayak paddling. And um, anyway, this year I said, not the hell with it all. I'm going to make the kayak paddling work. And I got to say, coming up through there, if I had the rowboat or this, I think the effort would have been about the same. Uh, the big benefit here, I can see what's coming. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure now my feather craft is... Uh, regulated to uh, fishing duty only. Um, yeah, this uh, alpaca company has impressed me. Yeah, you should check them out. Don't let the price uh, turn you off because uh, you want something that's going to work for you. I think the wind's calming down. So now if... Jeez, that's frozen. Um, now, if this is any indication of the last few days, it'll get really kind of glassy, and then the wind will shift, and I hope it comes on with a vengeance, because uh, I'll just let it blow me as far as it can. I want to get this done tomorrow, uh, although that might be asking a lot. But we'll see. Okay, I'm going to turn you off because I think all the hecticness has given up for a bit. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.
everything is encased in ice. I don't even know if you can see. Yeah, I'm encased in ice. This is encased in ice. Yeah.